Hello, I'm Alex Gill with Omni-Man Location, and we are here at MatsuriCon 2015 with No Need for Bushido. So, what's been happening with you guys lately? We've uh, recently finished our No Need for Bushido Volume 2 Kickstarter. This is our first MatsuriCon having that in stock, so that's great. Other than that, since we are an ongoing webcomic, we're just constantly posting new pages every week, same as usual, just keep on going. Awesome. Uh, now, are you guys doing artwork and projects this year for MatsuriCon, application work, graphic design? Alex has done most of the work for the convention, but for my own part, I've helped out with the brochure, the convention map, and an Android mobile app, and we're already beginning work for next year's mobile app to make sure that we get that in store for Apple. All right, awesome. Um, how has the convention scene changed for you both over the past decade or so? Keeps getting larger and larger, but it still has a good family feel to it, which uh, which we love. Um, obviously, MatsuriCon's known for having excellent guests and also a strong charity basis to it, and I think that uh, really helps unify the convention and makes it a great experience. And I can say I can name maybe 30 percent of uh, the cosplay going on here, so I think that's pretty good. I mean, that's accurate. That me that means I'm still cool and hip, right? <laughs> All right. Yep. All right. Um, now, what is new with No Need for Bushido? Have you figured out a way to include um, audio, uh, choreographic elements? I guess we're staying strong to our webcomic roots. Um, since we've been going to print, we've, uh, we've definitely focused on unifying the comic into a standard format that could translate well into the print uh, format. Um, but other than, other than that and having a lively internet community, that's always been our focus. Provide a good, solid comic in a good community. All right. Um, uh, could you tell us about the game uh, Flight Rising? Sure. Uh, Flight Rising is, an, is a web-based browsing game uh, where you essentially breed and battle dragons. Uh, I got into the site because I knew some of the creators as they were making the site. I helped beta, te beta test it. And after a year of production, they were, look they were looking for artists. Uh, and I was lucky enough to become full-time for them. Uh, so I have the dream job of sitting at home and uh, drawing uh, creatures and, and clothing for dragons, uh, preferably the coolest clothing I can. Uh, we recently sold swords that I designed on the site uh, that went over extremely well with the user base. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a good time. Check it out, flightrising.com. Uh, definitely some great artwork from other artists. I'm not, I'm not the only artist on that site, and we have a lot of artists contributing, and a lot of artists who play the game uh, who submit their own user, user content uh, that makes it on the site. So uh, yeah, check it out. One last question. We're all big LOGH fans, um, and you asked everybody at the panel yesterday, uh, the other day, excuse me, what your favorite character was. So I want to ask you both, what's your favorite ship of the line? What's your favorite ship in LOGH? Oh, the best ship. Oh, um, I think the Brunhild just has a lot of style to it. Um, it's not, oh, no, I've got to go with, <laughs> all right, all right, uh, Empire Brunhild. Alliance, uh, I'm blanking on the name, Dusty's uh, odd, Oddball. Is it the one with all the guns on the ship? Yeah, basically, yeah. The one where they try to shove it into Ezreal? Or pretty, or pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, no, 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 okay, technicality. <laughs> because I'm thinking ships. Yeah. But mobile, mobile constructions flying through space, yeah. I think I have a caveat here. Flying Fortress, not Eiselhorn. Um, Geisberg. Geisberg. Yeah. I'm going with Geisberg. <laughs> Geisberg Fortress spaceship, no doubt. Final answer. Final answer. Uh, I've only watched the series once, so I'm not super. I don't remember all the ship names, but yeah. I actually really loved the design of the Imperial starfighters that they fly. They look like three prongs. Yeah. yeah, the three prongs and the two engines. I love those ships. Those look so so rad. Barbaros is my personal favorite. All right. Yeah. So, uh, anything else? Any final words you'd like to get out to the uh, audience? I'll just say uh, we are keep on producing the comic every week. No need for Bushido at inin4b.com. It's free to read online. We got the lovely, pretty books, but uh, frankly, we just want to get the story out there. So, we appreciate people checking the website out. All right. Yeah, actually, there was a question here that you forgot to ask. It was, uh, when you guys were watching Kenshin, did you have a favorite art movie or OVA that you enjoyed more than the rest? And I felt 
<laughs> like you got to talk about Legend of Galactic Heroes. So I thought I thought I'd bring up the fact that <laughs> my favorite arc in Kenshin uh, is only in the manga. It's the Anishi arc, um, and it's the culmination of every arc that's come before it. Uh, it kind of got animated in the second OVA, but the OVAs I hate because they suck all the humor out of, out of the series and only have the most depressing stuff happen. And then they even added more depressing stuff just in case you didn't get that it's depressing. Uh, but yeah, I love the manga and I really hope that the movies, uh, which I love also, the new live action films, I think they're great adaptations. For a lot of my favorite anime adaptations of all time, I really hope that with the success of the uh, uh, of the Shishi arc, we get a live action Anishi arc, and that would blow my mind. I would be the, the happiest Kenshin fan ever. <laughs> Wonderful, Alex, Joe, thank you so much for your time. It's been awesome. Thanks.